Hello everybody, it's Guillotines, and uh, we're back with a new type of video. More so, um, it's gonna be a couple more of these uh, and stuff. I know I haven't been uploading lately, because I promised. I'm not gonna promise anymore, because uh, it just depends on my schedule and my mood. Because if I don't feel like recording, I'm not gonna record. But videos will come up when they come up, and I hope you guys enjoy the videos that do come up. Because I just want better content than normal. Whoa, voice crack. <clears throat> Anyways, um... Uh, anyways, I don't know if I said anything in regards to me being addicted to the TCG, but Pokemon TCG, trading card game, for people who don't know what it is, what that stands for, but I'm pretty sure it's pretty obvious right now because you're watching the video. Anyways, uh, I've been playing that quite a bit lately. I started it way back in January, and now I'm playing it way more often, pretty much every day, to be exact, and just, I don't know, it's a really fun game I've gotten into. I've always liked tabletop games. Um, I used to play the card game a little bit, but didn't really get into it, and then I got back into it now when I'm 19 years old anyways, but, um, so I should probably explain what, um, uh, what my deck is and how I'm playing, but, um, right now, it's supposed to be Darkrai Laser's deck, but I don't have the right cards online for it, so I just kind of improvise, and it's just, uh, I only have one dark ride. It's a full art. It's pretty cool. But uh, yeah, I'm playing against someone. I don't even know what this guy was doing. It's His deck was everywhere as well. So, But it was a rather, I guess you could consider close game. You'll see You'll see what I mean by the end of it if you uh, know what I'm talking about in the game. If you're new to this channel, just, just enjoy. I'm, I'm no professional at this game. I just, uh, yeah. So anyways, I uh, started off. I started off with my Keldeo. I got to catch up here. Sorry, he started off with the Caterpie course does 40 damage right away off me and uh, didn't have really anything to play uh let's just fast forward um i think i ultra ultra bold for that dark ray uh, correct me if i'm wrong i don't know i'm a bit behind i'm sorry guys um yeah let's just fast forward i remember i like got rid of like almost all my hand except his aura work last ter uh, last turn and i used my juniper drew this now I'm just debating whether or not I should use my catch or not. I don't decide on that because I... I just had a feeling because uh, he might have uh, some 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 pretty uh, good gun. And it's just kind of a waste using that um, right now. So I'd, go for, I'd risk using the sand dive on my sand dial. I do get it so I won't get, take any damage next turn. Hopefully... Um, he doesn't screw me over with capture. He doesn't, though. So, uh, right away, place an energy on Sandile again, I believe. I'm thinking here. Yes. Put an energy on Sandile. Use the N. Uh, and I uh, got Rare Candy with uh, cro Crocodile. Frick. God, I got... Um, but I decided not to use it because I don't have the energies for it. I tried risking for a Sandile again. Did not work. He does... And then he gets all the luck with his goddamn dual balls. And I believe he draws Chikorita and a Mewtwo EX. I, yeah, I clicked away, so I couldn't tell. But yeah, he draws a Mewtwo EX. Uh, Sandel takes... I can't remember, 30 damage? 20 damage? I don't know. I evolved Crook Crook uh, evolve him into Crookedile now. So I could... Because um, I could actually attack now. So, uh, and then I use a Pokemon Catcher on Mewtwo. See, I would be saving it for later, even though I have a couple of them in my deck. I uh, use Dark Clamp for 80 damage, which I don't understand why Mewtwo is not, does not have a weakness to Dark. It's kind of stupid. Um, decide to switch out Crocodile for Zorua, I think, and then use Ascension because uh, Zoroark loves damage counters on... Well, this sort of work anyways. And uh, if you guys are wondering about the executes and stuff, basically I have the T Plasma Freeze Weavile in here. I want more. Uh, and basically, uh, executes uh, ability is actually really good as propagation. Uh, you just basically can pull him from your discard pile. And uh, if you know Team Plasma's Weavile... Mm -hmm. Vilify does 30 damage times the number of uh, Pokemon you discard from your hand. So basically, I just withdraw crap tons of, um, well, as many executes as I can from my discard pile and just uh, drop them. Then I just dis I discard them using my Junipers and my Ultra Balls, I believe. And yeah, I do have some pointless cards in here. As you can see, Honch Honchkrow, I don't really use them that much. I only have one Murkrow, too, so it's... 
I almost never use him unless I draw him on the first turn, and that normally leads to a lose for me. But uh, yeah, he decides to add the energy to Mewtwo. Little does he know, I think I'm going to take him out this turn, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, because I'm going to put another energy on Zoroark and use Dark Rush. I know he'll take me out next turn with uh, his uh, Metapod or Lilligant. I can't remember what he does next turn. Anyways, yeah, Metapod, draw a Dark Patch, and a Sableye. So that's that's what I was waiting for, that uh, empty space there. I wanted a Sableye on my uh, bench. Um, yeah, I believe he takes me out this turn with his uh, Metapod. Yeah, does uh, Professor Oak's new theory. Evolves uh, Lilligan as a big cape. Use a Pokeball, and of course he gets a heads. I don't think he's gone to tails once this turn. Don't know why, it's kind of stupid. Evolves into Butterfree. And uh, I actually didn't know Butterfree that well, so I just checked his uh, moves and stuff. Find that 30 damage on with the Cure Powder thing would be kind of annoying. Just kind of uh, procrastination, because I have a rather strong lead right now. Right meow. And, uh, yeah, I don't know what I did this turn. I think I didn't use Russian. I don't know why. It's kind of stupid of me not to. But I think I decided to go for the Professor Juniper next. I have, like, no cards in my uh, deck. The only problem I found with this uh, deck is I oh, they're always so close with as far as cards go. Luckily, my Weavile was a prize. Again, I only have one. I want more. Use a Dark Patch on Weavile. Which should give me, yeah, I'll be able to do massive amounts of damages, damage, I believe. So I use a Russian, then I retreat. No, I laser, I laser Lilligant first. Don't know why, because I probably would have taken him out either way. But I laser Lilligant. So, oh, I don't. Oh yeah, that's right. I Pokemon catcher uh, Butterfree just to take out. Uh, that annoying move with uh, Dark Rush, and I. This is what I know he's going to take me out with Lily again. And yeah. So I don't. I don't know if it's a he or she. I look at the name. By the way, I'm blocking out the name in editing because, uh, I really don't want to share people's names with me because on on the internet without permission. I will be playing games with friends because I do play games with friends, but, and they know I'll upload. They know I'd be uploading, like Scott, you know him. And, uh, yeah, I think this is a girl, actually, judging by the name. But I'm, that's going to be blocked off in editing. Anyways, he tries its energy on uh, Bayleaf, takes out my Zoroark, as I expected. But I have a crap ton of damage counters on Kelvio and Crocodile right now. And for some reason here... This is this game is just full of me like just herping. Yeah, this is when I freak out. It's like, oh, I only have five cards left in my deck, and I didn't want to use pull out the ultra ball, so I just uh, wasted my Skyla. That's fine. Um, so this is when I start panicking. I need to take him out, and then I click. For some reason, I thought Crocodile had four energies attached to him, not three, and I could have used his uh, Bombast, which is forty damage times the number of prize cards I draw, for a hundred and. This would have been 140 because I have the Dark Claw to it. But anyways, I use Propagation on all my Executes, and then I will pull out the Weavile here for the Knockout on Lilligant. And I don't know if Bayleaf put, got the Rocky Helmet yet or not. I know he put in a Rocky Helmet. I don't know why I kept doing that. I could have just easily retreated instead of doing the Russian retreat thing. Uh, yeah, see, this is me doing math because in real life... Whenever I play people, I'm just so bad at math and I forget about cards all the time. So, uh, yeah. Here I use my laser, even though it would have been... It's pointless, but anyways, I was... It was a close game as far as deck goes and stuff. I was winning by a long shot because I... I managed to set up my Crocodile and Weavile rather quickly. Got the Dark Rye. Haven't gotten my prize cards, so... That's always good, but I believe I have like three cards in my deck right now. I took out... No, I didn't take out Lilligant, so I was wrong. I only did 90 to her. And he switches out to Bayleaf. I know I'm going to take Bayleaf out in this turn, or am I going to use... I put an energy to Darkrai, and I think I switch out to Crocodile again, even though I tried using Bombast the last turn. 
No, I, I don't. I use I use the propagation thing again with Weavile. And my fourth execute, I think, is in my prize cards. That's the only problem. But do the Vilify for 90 damage. Take out Bailey right away. Take that 20 damage because I know eh, the end is imminent. I'm going to win this. Uh, but I just hurt quite a bit here. You'll see, you'll see what I mean next turn. I don't even know why I did this, but instead of just going straight for Lilligant, it would have been helpless with uh, the Jigglypuff. I wasn't thinking. I didn't realize she had, for some reason, I wasn't thinking that she had damage counters on her. Uh, but I switched out to Sableye. That's what I did. And then I did Junk Hunt for the Dark Pat. I think two Dark Patches here. Yeah. Two. No. No, uh, yeah. Oh yeah, two dark patches. And uh, yeah, that way I could get four energy on Crocodile this time and three on Dark Rise. So I will be all set for the win. This is obvious. Then again, as I pointed out before, I am I was playing on Expert. It was weird. But um, this deck seemed like it was just kind of going nowhere, in my opinion. Don't know why I didn't put another dark energy on Kelvio at the start rather than the dark patch. Because I really don't need any energy. And thank god I didn't have any... Well, actually, no. This deck doesn't really have... Um, I don't really have any problems with energy droughts in this deck, I don't think. And yes, I think I was cocky... No, I didn't I didn't use Weavile. Because Weavile got knocked out. I can't... He got knocked out when I left him, I think. I almost died too, but obviously that Keldeo is really helpful. Uh, did I use Ultra Ball to draw another card? No, because I only had one card left in my deck, which was really close. I would have lost if I procrastinated one more turn, but that's the game. Hope you guys enjoyed this new type of video. Um, yeah, and I uh, hope you guys all have a good day. My name is Guillotines, and uh, if you liked the video, leave a comment, like it, dislike it if you hated me, and uh, subscribe if you're new.